worked on Robotech and all the other projects. Was it many different hats? Well, it, what I did was I was Harmony Gold's art director at the time, and so I was doing the graphics, behind the scenes graphics, like the promotional work and the advertising and Very cool. that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, national ad campaigns, things like that? Very cool. Yeah. So, are you in the same uh, type of work with Love Live Alive, or is it? Well, with Love Live Alive, they brought me in to just sort of keep a consistency, because story it, well, characters. just because you know, I knew I know how Carl's mind worked, and they just you know wanted me to just sort of you know just add any suggestions I might have. And so that's what I did. I just had, you know, a few little suggestions here and there. And, um, you know, just trying to keep the legacy alive and, you know, keep everything consistent. So. Is it, is it uh, still a fun process for you? Yes, of course. Um, Robotech is dear to all of our hearts, all of us that worked on the original series. Um, it was such an exciting time, it was such a creative project for everybody that worked on it. There were so many talented people that contributed and we were all just a big team, a big family. And it was, you know, it was long hours but we all enjoyed it and we all worked together and so whenever there's anything new, it's, it all, you know, it's great for all of us to feel like that fans are still interested, still want to see new product, and it's just great that it's become a generational thing because the fans have grown up, now they have their own families, and now they're showing their kids Robotech, so that's kind of cool. That's awesome. So one last question. Um, what can the fans expect from Love Live Alive, storyline-wise, or characters? Um, I, it, it kind of fills in, you know, information that maybe people have wondered about, and it also um, it exploits this more of the story. You, you know, I mean, you have to remember that the character, the main character in this, is was kind of a mysterious character, you know, and yes, Lance was very mysterious and. So it you know kind of deals with him and and so it's interesting it's real interesting you know the whole dichotomy of you know being a soldier and and then being this cross dressing rock star you know <laughs> so uh, we are actually continuing with Shadow Chronicles Part Two Shadow Rising which will. Uh, now that Love Live Alive is done, we're actually starting pre-production on uh, on the Shadow Chronicles sequel, so you can look forward to that. Uh, don't know when, but pretty soon. <laughs>